Morning, so it's the first day today of the course. I'm just going down to get the get this uh, this information because you've got to do a couple of uh, you've got to do an exam at the end of it. I need to get my theory done today. Tomorrow we're going to start doing some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Got PNG biscuits. So. Yeah. Today's um, baggy, is he? Yeah. That's baggy. She's baggy. <laughs> what are we doing today? All right. So what we're going to do? We're going to uh... time me up. The instructor. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, liar! Joe <laughs> Scuba. Some border, look at that handsome chap. Look at that. What a mess. Insurance, great. Yeah, cool. so divers. I, I Cool, so I've downloaded an app called the ISS. I've basically just got to follow this app through the steps. I've got six modules to go through today, and apparently that is the stuff they will test me on at the end. As it's my open water, it's not too technical. There's still some questions about pressure and stuff like that, that I've got to learn, but it's all exciting stuff. Morning, it is 9 a.m. in the morning, and today we are literally going to be going to the pool and learning how to get used to the equipment, doing some theory, all exciting stuff. And it's a good job, because look at the weather today. It looks quite choppy, so if we were actually were scuba diving, we probably wouldn't be able to see much because of the visibility. This is this is our man right here. He's looking after us today. You are, right? We've got the dog as well. Here he is. It's full of energy, really, but we're not yet. Just waiting for Theo, the other guy. Look at these. Quick one here, look at this. Yeah. Still no sign of the sun yet though. Where that really becomes more interesting to We're basically learning about the importance of like safety. Of course it's common sense, but these are the bits that you know you have to do. And uh, that's what we're doing now. And then there's a guy who's coming but he's late. I'm waiting for him, which means we're not doing any pool dives today because we have the time allocation. So tomorrow we're gonna be doing four dives and a pool session, which is gonna be a lot. Today, hopefully we can get a test done and uh, move on to the next step. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> not a bad place to do it though, is it? But again, I'm not getting any sponsorship for this. <whistles> Those these guys, because they seem to be, they were recommended by the hostel and they're a good price. And that's us apparently. Looks more like a turd. It all just looks like numbers now, but it'll all make sense soon. In season right now. Yeah. But uh, season is April. But, but uh, in April, May, then we're going to... Standard 11 litre aluminium tank used in. Okay, so around the top, it's kind of dull, but it is important. DOT means it was tested by the Department of Transport. Don't unscrew this all the way. Yeah. Okay, if you do, and you loop over here. Okay. This one, you three talked about that guy earlier. You're never going to experience oxygen toxicity. Morning, today is day two and today we're actually going in the pool and we're doing two dives. So it's 8.30, I'm just going down to meet them. The aim of the pool dive is to learn how to use the equipment before we go into the sea and uh, start the open water. So he's already been testing us on how to set the equipment up. It's all in this bag right here. There it is. This is my dive partner right here. I'm gonna do some diving today. <laughs> This tractor's here too. Got the wetsuit to put on. I think we've got a test later as well. So we've set up. They go in there. <laughs> God, this thing is tight. So we've just done our pool training and we're gonna be going into the sea soon. First, a quick toilet break. Woo! Look at this day. Perfect day to do your first two dives. And on this pipe, what size are those? Let's go look at the beach one last time. Let's see how matey boy's liking it. Are you liking the, you enjoying it, mate, or what? Is it good? Ooh. Thanks. Probably the most scariest part was when he teaches you to take off your goggles underwater. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that part was probably, for me... ...to panic sometimes, so it's difficult to handle the situation, but um, I think we can do it. Yeah, I think it's one of those moments. You go into like a slight panic for a second, because you can't see the thing because... the goggles are off, 
you're like, you can't see anything, so you're still breathing, you're underwater. But other than that, we nailed it, didn't we? Dive buddy. Dive buddy. Dive buddy. And here we go. Bags full of stuff. Extra wetsuit, because it get quite cold. He's the man. Here we go, we've got the uh, Toyota Yaris engine. It's like a car engine on it and then stick and off they go. New York, Germany, and the English. This boat now, from this boat. I'll drop the boat. You too? So what we've learned so far is how to take our mask off, how to put a weight belt on, why, why we need one, buoyancy, safety, and this is going to be our first dive in the sea. It's a 10 minute ride, so we're going to be putting on our scuba suit soon. It's only going to be a 12 meter dive for our first one in a sandy place. But basically the course includes pretty much all the equipment, the training, uh, the certification, and it's only 9,000 baht, which is 240 pounds, 230 pounds, maximum 290 dollars. It's good value for money. It'll save you money when you travel the world and you do your other open water diving, or you want to go up to master level. Mate, your boy's struggling to get his stuff in. And we're heading straight towards Nangyong Island. If you saw my other videos, I did a video about Nangyong Island. You've got to check it out. Someone actually proposed on this island. So check that video out too. But at the end, not now. I've just set my weight belt up. That's going to keep me down under the water. I've just got to set my regulator up, which is this thing, to the buoyancy aid, boy BC they call it. This inflates, but this connects to the tank, which goes on my back. It allows me to see how much air I've got, and most importantly, so I can breathe. So this is my tank. I teach you that it's not been used because it's got a cap on it. Now it's time to uh, get the wetsuit on and get in. And it looks like we're diving right here to Nangyong Island. Check my video out on that. This place is beautiful. That someone actually proposed up there. I mean, look at those white sands. Look at that. And we're diving right here. You ready to go? Let's do it. Right, so we've just been on our first dive. It's amazing. Uh, we're going to do our second dive in about uh, five minutes, five, ten minutes. Set him up. There he is, the guy over there. The main man. Sorting us out. Let's do this. Yay! So we're just off to the next dive site now. Made it! So we're all done. We're just waiting for the last boat to come pick us up from this boat. And tomorrow we've got two dives. So today was wicked. And these biscuits are really good. I think I've eaten about eight. So basically where we just dived, literally from here, all the way down from here to here. There's a bit of cookie on me. There's underwater gyms, playgrounds. It's actually known as the dumping area. Apparently a sailor once decided to throw all of this stuff off the boat and they've been adding to it every year ever since. So you can scuba dive around all of it and it's really, really cool. We just scuba dived around that. Just waiting for one of these. But apparently, apparently tomorrow, apparently, apparently tomorrow is the best day to do it. For the dive guys, this is the driver man. <laughs> Look at over there. The captain, sorry, you're the captain. Come back for a few more biscuits. Is Morning. Guess what? It's 6.30 in the morning. And we're going on the last two dives. Today we're going to go 18 meters. The deepest we've ever been. Exciting stuff, huh? We did our test yesterday. Passed with flying colors. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. It's pretty calm. We got a boat to get on. What is it? Oh. BC fins and regulator. The earliest I've woken up. Oh, pretty. Um, the, mo the most uh, problem for me is. Alright, buddy. 
Whew, I'm feeling a bit more awake now. So the first place we're going is called White Rock. White Rock is a famous place here. And as you can see, the sun is rising. It's about 7.15 in the morning. Just being dropped off by our little boat. We're on the main boat now. Five minute journey from here to White Rock. And I'm really sorry guys, but they do not let you take a GoPro with this course because it's a certified course. It's your first one. They don't let you do it. So I can only tell you about all the experiences and everything like that. But so far, I'm really, really happy I did this. And I think you should too. So I've got to go downstairs and set up all the gear. This is what you learn on the course is how to set up all your gear, safety checks, how to take your mask off underwater and stuff like that. So we've got to do one last time this is going to be the best place, apparently. Oh, sun's up, baby! Wow! It's go time. Okay. Musky, musky. All right, make this look good. All right. Let's go. Okay. Woo! Guess who's certified? Me. Done it. Very happy. Just heading back to shore now. What a brilliant experience it's been. We also found you can do this cheaper. Someone I met yesterday, it's only been 8,000 baht to do theirs. So, Koh Tao is probably the cheapest place in the world to do your scuba diving certifications. <laughs> subscribe me. <laughs> How do you say subscribe in German? I don't know. Like the videos, come get the scheiße, Alter. Auf die blaue und rein da. In the next video.